hands of your grace. Dear listener, welcome to Hour of Destiny devotional with Reverend Mike Inula of Habitation of Winners Ministry International. Happy listening. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Wednesday, 26th of October, 2022. Open your heart this morning and receive these prophetic prayers this morning. Today, I declare you blessed. Everywhere you will turn to today, the presence and the almightiness of God will go ahead of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not dash your foot against the stones of the enemy. Whatever the devil has put in place to hurt you and your family today, I cancel them by the authority of God. In the name of Jesus, somebody is hearing me this morning. The Spirit of God says, I should tell you, that even though the devil has planned to make you to cry today, I had God say, I should tell someone that even though the devil has put certain things in place to make you to share bitter tears, but the Lord said, I should tell somebody that he has averted it, that that thing or those things that devil has caused you to cry today, the Lord said, he has averted it and you will come back and testify in Jesus name. I pray for every one of us today that what you will eat and what you will drink, the money you will need to spend to cover your secret, the Lord will continually provide for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. David said, he leaves me beside the still waters for his name's sake. I pray in the name of the Lord, the Lord will lead you to the still waters that he has prepared for your provisions and promotion. The Lord will lead you, the Lord will guide you, and the Lord we provide for all your needs today in Jesus name. Everyone that will be traveling this Wednesday, I pray and I prophesy that all journeys shall be peaceful. There shall be no accident anywhere today in Jesus name. I decree by the authority of God that the law will collect your right for you, madam. I don't know who is overriding you. I don't know who is sitting on what's supposed to have come to you a long time ago. But I'm praying this morning that the Lord will cause that person to get up and then you will get what belongs to you in Jesus' name. I want to pray for pregnant women, especially those of you that are due for delivery. The EDD given to you by your doctor has come and gone but you are yet to put to bed. I am praying for you today, whatever may be causing the delay, I pray it off. In Jesus' name, those of you that are going to be going into the forum today, you will go in there alive, you will come out with your baby, and you will be alive, your baby will be healthy. No one will die as a result of childbearing or childbirth today. In Jesus' name, I pray for all fathers, the grace to remain a responsible father, receive today. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen. I believe as I receive. Hallelujah. Let's go straight to hear the word of God. Yesterday, I did a little digression to go back to visit the subject we did last week about the weapons of our warfare. You remember on Monday, we started looking at the word I titled, Get Connected or Connect Properly. That it is very important for us to be well connected. But yesterday, I took a break so as to add more weapons to the weapons of our warfare that we have learned. And that is the weapon of praise. Learn how to use praise and worship to discomfit and confuse your enemies. When you are singing praises and worship to God, the devil is totally lost because he wouldn't know what you are doing. But if you keep complaining and murmuring every day, you are giving Satan upper hand. And let's go for today again. Let's go back to continue from where we stop on Monday to get proper connected. I did told us that if you are not well connected, you cannot get the best from God. Let me give us this personal example of personal experience. Many years ago, it should be up to 15 or 17 years ago, we had no light in our house. We're still living in a rented apartment. We had no light for 12 days, 12 straight days. There was no light in our house. We were thinking that it was a general problem until we began to see other houses in the community having light. And so on the 12th day, I saw these Nepal guys. We used to call them Nepal people in those days. We saw them. They came to our environment and they were going towards the direction of the transformer. 
I ran after them. I shouted and they stopped. And I told them, I said, sirs, for the past 12 days, there's no light in my house. They said, are you sure? I said, yes, no light. They said, okay, we are going to check the transformer and see whether the fault is from there. Lo and behold, by the time they return back, they stop over and told me and say, Oga, we are just coming from the transformer. All the three faces there are intact. Then what could be the problem? Why didn't we have light in our house? So they left. As I came back, I went straight to the meter area and I discovered that one of the wires, whether the live wire or the neutral, was not properly there was no proper connection. There was a kind of disconnect. So for 12 days, we were in the dark because there was a kind of partial contact. I want to put it to you this morning. If you are not properly connected to God, you are just giving yourself over to the devil. In the book of John, that's where we read on Monday, John chapter 15. We read verse 4, where Jesus himself says, John chapter 15 verse 4, say, remain in me and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severed from me and cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. This is directed from the Lord that you cannot achieve anything. I see a lot of people running from one place to another because they want to achieve such a migrating moving here and there. But Jesus said, your problem is not migration or relocation. Your problem is that you are not properly connected with him. Look at verse 5. John chapter 15 verse 5. In New Living Translation, he said, Yes, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. He said, I am the vine. You are the branches. He said, those who remain, that is those who abide in me, they will produce fruit. Do you want to produce fruit? Do you want to see fruits in your labor? You want to see fruits in your marriage? You want to see fruit in your ministry, in your career? Then abide with the Lord. Stop running away from him. Stop sharing yourself 50-50. Stop telling God to take charge of one and then you take charge of another. No. Give all yourself over to the Lord. Abide in him. Connect well. Be well connected. It's a common language in Nigeria when they say, well, I am well connected. You don't know who I know. I know so-so senator. I know so-so honorable. Oh, so-so minister is my uncle or my cousin. People boast of the connection they have with powers that be. But I want to tell you, you may not have anybody in government, but if you are well connected to God Almighty, once you are well connected to God, you are more fortunate than those people whose uncles are governors and ministers. So I put it to you this morning, if you want to see fruit in your life, if you want to see fruit in your marriage, if you want to see fruit in your labor, in your assignment, again, then be well connected. Just like the story I told you for 12 days, we didn't know that the fault was from our meter area. I thought it was a general problem. That is how some people today because they are not well connected, they are not connected to God. They are thinking that because they are connected to one politician or the other, they are not connected to God. Witches and wizards are manipulating their lives. Herbalists and ritualists and native doctors will keep on collecting your money because you are not connected to God. But as long as from the moment you get connected to God, I want to tell you, herbalists will no longer see food to eat from you. Native doctor will no longer see your green light. You will no longer patronize them because you are now connected to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I put it to you this morning. Get connected. Connect well to the Lord. Not just partial connection. Be fully and truly connected and be committed to him. By so doing and when you do that, you will have upper hand over the devil. I pray for you this Wednesday morning that the almightiness of God will bring that connection that will open doors of breakthrough and success for you in Jesus name. Let me tell you this as I close. When you are connected to God, then it will connect you with people that will help you. But if you are not connected to God and you are running after men here and there, it's not going to work. But once you are connected to God, is the one that knows the right connection that will open door for you. I pray in the name of the Lord that God will draw you closer to himself and I pray that you also, you will get closer to the Almighty. May the Lord bless you today. May the Almighty God watch over you and your family today. May you not walk into evil today and may evil not walk up to you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a prosperous midweek in Jesus' name. Amen. Daily as I live, I breathe, let my whole life be expressions of your grace.
Hour of Destiny, presented by Reverend Mike Inyola of Habitation of Winners Ministry International. We invite you to worship with us on Sunday by 8.30 a.m. and Wednesday 5 p.m. Venue, His Glory Cathedral of Habitation of Winners Church, after Waek Office along Cruiser Road, Lokoja, Kogi State, Nigeria. For prayers and counseling, contact us on 0806-211. 5571 or 0803 797 4748. Rose Form produced the program. Thank you for listening and God bless you. Hey.